Hey guys, welcome to Alpha 11 of Stoneheart with me, Banto. So this new Alpha version houses a lot of different fixes and a lot of new features and changes to the game, which I'm gonna go through with you guys, together with you. And we're gonna make a new town and... and also resetting the whole name suggestions for different names that you want to get in for Heartling names. So if you have suggestions to get your name in the game, it's the time to drop the comment now, and if you haven't got your name in the game before, just drop a new one and I will go who writes first and gets in first. So hope you guys can enjoy that because I had a lot of people who's been there forever and maybe some don't really want to get the name in anymore, so just drop a name request if you have any. So we're gonna make a new game, we're gonna go for normal. And here are some new changes, we can actually see what people were getting. So we can see what we have for different names, how to look, we can even name them when we're starting out and have a name for someone once we start out. Maybe I'm gonna name this guy, I'm gonna name this guy Banto, so I'm gonna be in the game now. I have a pretty bad mind, a good body and a pretty low spirit as well. But you can re-roll your character, it's actually gonna do that so you guys can see how it looks. So every time you re-roll you get different people with different stats. And for that way you can try to design your starting people to have some like good footmen, some good crafters. And uh, get something good with that. So we got for example we got the Noli Winset here. She got a good body, she got a good mind, she got good spirits. Has good in overall and everything. So I think that both like Alex and Noli will probably be pretty good uh, footmen. So I think I'm gonna go for this way and I'm gonna be this Alex guy here. So this time I got a pretty bad mind still, good body and pretty high spirit. And this is a new thing as well, you see we have some starting gold here. We can choose things to start out when we start in the game, so we can go for a trapper's knife that would be this whole thing. We can go for a farmer's hoe, a footman's sword and a weaver's spindle. And I see that these take a 50 gold, so I guess either those three or one of those. I think that uh, I kind of want to go for trap as a knife, but uh, just because that's, you know, the normal standard way how it used to be. I'm actually thinking about going for a farmer's hoe, even though that's so simple to make. I think I'm gonna go for a um, farmer's hoe, let's go for this, just to go for a different way than we normally would go. So, oh, let's embark. And I mean, this is kind of the same as it used to be. We gotta settle down where we wanna be. Do we maybe want to be pretty, pretty close to some lake? That would be pretty nice. So I think that here would be pretty good. You see we have the mountain, we have those two lakes and we have a lot of wood. So I'm gonna settle here. Okay, here we got the awesome lakes. We got two nice lakes, a little one here and we're really close to the mountain. I mean, this is a really, really good spot to start out with. We can make something amazing with these lakes. I still have your requests for different uh, buildings, the gazebo, the cigarette as well, which I'm gonna try to go through as we go. But uh, this time I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go for a little bit of a different approach to what I've done lately. So this time I actually wanna start out with, you know, kinda like a um, town square right from the start. So I think this would be a pretty good area. We still have a lot of spots to fill in here. And we're just gonna set down our flag somewhere. So I think this would be pretty good. New Fred Vale. Let's name this place the Vale. Maybe Devolve? <laughs> I guess we can be Devolve. Okay, we got our people here. And as you see, we should have our new tools. Farmer's hoe, a sword, and a weaver's spindle. I mean, I think the weaver's spindle should be pretty good. We're actually starting with four tools because we got a carpenter as well, which you we always have. So I guess we can gather some wood because we, I want to clear out this area that we got here. And I want to fill in some kind of town square in this area. And I think it's just going to look amazing. There's some really interesting good new things for the games. Which I'm going to show you very very soon as we progress a little bit. So let's make a little stockpile where we can store all our wood that we're getting for the moment. And I think this is new. I'm not entirely sure how it is for this. But you can see how much space is used for this one. You can see the content of this. And one new thing as well, if you click one of your heartlings, you go inside here, we have the backpack. And you can actually see what resources they have in their backpack. Like before, you maybe see them like loot things and you're like, oh, they're deleting them. Like I was thinking at least sometimes. 
But it was just in the backpack, the problem was that you couldn't really see what it had in the backpack, but now I can actually see it, so that's pretty good, I guess. So we want to make a uh, town square. The thing is though that I kind of want to make this of stone. Do we have any stone around? We do have that stone. Maybe we can order them to actually go and get some stone. So this is going to be a very different start compared to what we're used to go for. I hope they're going to go there and do some mining. I really hope so. Looks like someone's going over there. We got free. Nuelle wins it. But like I said it before, all previous name is gonna be gone from the request request list. If you have requests, then drop them in the comments, and I'm gonna try as soon as possible. I think this is gonna be the best because some of those requests I got a bunch of them long ago, and they're just in a queue. So starting fresh from this, I think it's gonna be kind of like the best way. We might even refresh this list from every town we start with. So don't feel bad about like giving your name several times to me. Like when I make a new town, just request it. I'm just happy to try to get you guys into the game, so. And I'm happy to get some requests from you guys as well for constructing different things. So we should start with this. Go in here and we're gonna make this nice little uh, town square. And I wanna make this, um, I think I wanna make this with some kind of rock. So we're gonna make a stone road, but this is gonna be like a town square of this. So I wanna have it pretty decent sized. A grizzled traveler approaches. Long journey over the mountains, eh? Well, you're in a good place now. Here's a little something to get you started. So we got some berries, we got a little bit of corn and one rabbit jerky. That's good. Thank you. So this is gonna be a good start with this. I really like how it looks. I have been trying out this out of the camera doing this and it has been looking so good. I really like how it looks when you're starting out with this. So we're also gonna make a house, and I'm actually gonna take a house that I had from a previous town. It's uh, this house here, small city house. And for people wondering a little bit uh, why I'm not playing the previous town, basically between different alphas you cannot load in your previous game, you might be able to do it, but uh, they are incompatible with it, so I do not recommend it. It will most likely just cause a lot of different problems. So how do we wanna fit this in? How do we want people to get to this house from this town square? Maybe we want to have it... I um, think I want to maybe have even two of these. So I have like one to next to the side of this. But don't worry, I will be doing custom buildings. It's really really fun to do them. I just think that this house looks pretty decent for a starting house. And just to get some kind of town going pretty quick, it is a pretty good way. So, should we have this the same way as the other one, or should we go for like this? I think we go for the same way. Maybe we shouldn't even have it there, because we maybe we're gonna have some kind of like, you know, row there. So let's see, should we just go for one house to start with? I think maybe having it this side would actually make it look pretty good. And we're just gonna move a little bit of these things. We're gonna have, I think we will have the flag in the center of the town square later. I'm just gonna remove this as well. No fire pit's gonna be there. This is progressing really good. So who should become our first carpenter here? Nolly, what do we got me? There we got me. I'm not gonna be a carpenter, probably gonna be an uh, footman guarding our city. I'm gonna get someone with, with uh, a good mind, but not with a too good body. I think this, we're gonna go for this. Five mind, five spirit. Yoffa. I really like this little picture that we got for the characters. I really like that. I think it looks really, really, really good. There's so many things that I like about this. I like that we see the different tools we got here. You see how much attack it gives. You see how much defense it would give if it would be given anything. But I think this is a good step how they're doing this. So let's pro we're gonna promote. And this is really good as well. Because I, as I remember before, you know, when you're checking out here before and you bring up this menu, change jobs, this was actually underneath this window. And that was so bad. And now to make it actually go on top of that one, and that's really good. And we should really make someone to become an farm pretty quick. I'm gonna go for Gareth. The reason I wanna get a farm early on, because we choose to get that tool really early on. We probably want to get a weaver pretty early as well. But the thing is though that you want to have enough workers to actually perform building, 
chopping down trees, gathering resources, doing all that kind of uh, other different works. Did it really... Did it really mine at all? Hmm. Didn't get that much stone. I guess we're gonna go for a little bit more mining then. So let's place out our workshop for our carpenter. Here we got it. So I think that would be a pretty good place. The farm needs some place to go and put on the farming. I don't really think we want to have it, you know, way too close to this. So I think if we maybe chop these down, these trees, I'm gonna put like behind this. And I think that should be looking pretty decent. I don't want to have it too close to this. I think this is going to be more like... Uh, civilized, or whatever you want to call it. And the farmland is going to be a little bit outside of uh, where we got our town going, so... So we could queue up a few things here. There are a lot of things we actually want to do, so... And here is a new thing that did not exist before. We got this different storage. We got a small crate. For com actually storing up to eight items so in this crate you can store items and the other ones this one 32 items and leather bound box I haven't really made this myself it says for compactly storing up to 16 items so I think that uh, this one I don't know why exactly but it's like it's a little bit worse storage than this but maybe it's a little bit smaller to place it but these are pretty small as well I'm gonna craft a few of them and I'm gonna show you guys how they look, so... I think it's really, really fun, it just makes it look way better than having all of these stockpiles, it just... I think it just looks way better. But you have the option to either go for this way or go for this way, or go for both ways. I think that's really good. Okay, we're gonna have some essential things for our houses, so doors and windows. And maybe, yeah, we're gonna have some beds, of course. People gonna have somewhere to go and sleep. Yeah, some tables and some chairs. Gonna make a shield once we can do that too. They still sell for 24 gold, so it's a pretty good sell still. Daily update. We didn't beat it. How could we not beat it? And that's a really good change with the daily update as well. Previously, when you, you were clicking, like you saw that you did complete the thing, and you clicked like OK, accept it, you actually got the fail sound that you didn't accomplish the goal, but nowadays it actually gives you the correct sound, so that's really good. It kind of feels a little bit like they have reworked a little bit with the music as well. I kind of feel like the music system for the battle music is a little bit better than it used to be. It used to be really hard about restarting over and over and it was just way too... too high music compared to what the normal in-game music was. Level 1 Carpenter, congrats. We still need more stone, we still need more stone. Maybe the stone is actually lying inside there still. No, it's not. Wow, it's going a lot of stone for this. Didn't expect it to take that much stone. Maybe they made it a little bit more realistic. How much it actually requires. Actually got some ore going here. We got some tin, we got some copper, we got some silver. And this is really good that we're actually living so close to the mountains. Because this was, will allow us to actually... Get a blacksmith working, making good armor and weapons really, really quick. So, let's see here. One house is... Uh, I think it's done. We just need to place some windows. So, maybe we should make the other house done as well. Let's build that one. And I'm gonna make a road that's gonna lead into this town square. It has to make it look really, really nice. So I think I'm gonna have three in whiff. I think that's a pretty, pretty nice whiff on it. And it matches with the doors, so that's another reason for it, so. Oh, I actually saw a thing I failed with. Ooh, how is this gonna be? I think I'm just gonna let it be, because if I remove it, it might just create problems. So you see, the door is not at this side, the door is at, the door is at this side, so I should have kept turning it. But I'm gonna probably remove this stockpile anyway later. So we're gonna make a road that goes up here. And it can look pretty good. We can have like different houses. Some have the door this side, some on this side. I will see what I will do with it. Not exactly how I was going for it, but uh, I think it's gonna turn out pretty good in the end anyway, so. Level 2 carpenter going really quick. Maybe some light sources. Light sources really give life to the town. 
And the wooden garden lantern. Yeah, dining tables, those are so nice too. And some benches. I like to keep a lot of different furniture just in stock. And I guess we can keep always one of those shields. Maybe some fences. Probably a little bit of while until we can work with the fences, but we might use this for our farm, so... Now we can make the large crates as well. I'm gonna make four of these. You see they do take the double up from a small one. Even though it stores more than the double, but at the same time, if I, if I remember correct, the large one is uh, a lot bigger than the small one. So we're gonna have beds inside here, so I think I'm gonna go for two beds in each of these houses. Really like how these look. I think, I think it's really fun to use a town square in the beginning. And it's decent sized. We can increase the size of it if we want to later. We still have some expansion possibilities, like go out here a little bit more, keep going, even like, even this big would be pretty nice. I'm actually using the shadows for the moment as well. I will turn them off if the performance gets way too low, but for the moment I feel like we could stay with it. And eventually I'm also gonna make a road that's gonna go all the way to the mountains, because the roads, they do speed up the Harkling's movement, so it's definitely something to consider to get pretty early on as well. Because that will speed up the overall work on everything, so. Eight wooden doors. I'll back three days and might uh, get you four bolts of cloth. Okay, let's do that one. Eight wooden doors. Should be this normal one. Let's create, uh, let's create nine. I think it's always good to create at least one more than you. Well, that, than we're gonna use because we will be using one for this even though we already have one, so. Okay, we have a really long time for it, 71 hours. We should be pretty fine with that. And we should settle down our nice little farm, so maybe it will go across this road. Maybe we should have it even further away. I think this is pretty good way from it. And as you see here, this is no mod, nothing like that. We actually have at least one new thing, we can grow wheat. And there's actually a cook in the game now, so we're gonna get a cook and uh, try it out. Not for this episode, but later on. So we're gonna be able to, you know, make some delicious foods. So I'm gonna grow some corn, but also wanna grow some... Uh, gonna grow for this side, by the way. Also wanna grow some more, you know, a little bit slow grown. Because the corn grows really, really slow, so we're gonna grow some turnips. And we're also gonna grow some carrots, fast grown. I think that's gonna be a good place for the food for the moment. I think we keep going for more and more, we're just gonna need one more farmer for dealing with this. Carpenter free, going so fast. So I think I'm gonna decorate this town square a little bit and I'm gonna show you these uh, crates that I'm talking about. So here we got, we got 40s. Let's see they're pretty small sized. I actually wanna have some here on the town square. I think we can make it look pretty interesting. I'm not sure if you can like put them on top of each other, but uh, I mean, we can try it. I wanna try it out. I wanna see if it actually do work because I think that could look pretty awesome. But for the moment, we're just gonna go for and split up like that. Then I wanna have like a table here, and I wanna have a chair. I don't know what I'm thinking about here, it kinda reminds me of, uh, I don't know what, some smugglers or whatever, there's like some trading going on, like here we have the crates, like two people meet to sit here and trade with each other or something like that. I think it looks pretty pretty interesting to have something like that here. I won't be feeling the whole, whole town square with these things. But uh, just have a little bit like that. I think it's gonna make it look pretty nice. And uh, we should maybe have some kind of light source here. I think we have one for that side. We might go one for like each corner here. I'm gonna start with one at least. And we can put one for this house. Light sources really make the town look so much more special. We do have a lot of wood still, so we have no issue with that. The only thing that we kind of need to get a little bit more for the building that we're doing for the moment is actually to chop down some more stone. Stone is going, going on really quick. We're spending so much stone so fast. I'm a little bit surprised. Or maybe we're just getting way little, so little stone for doing this. That was pretty interesting. I can, I can actually see that we are going to spend these resources for this as well. I wonder if we can actually make custom houses now again with the furniture inside. I'm just gonna check it out. We're not gonna make this building. I'm, I'm just gonna check it out if it actually do work now. If they have fixed it out. 
So make like that, and we don't really have to make anything more. We can just do it for fun, I guess. Just to make it, you know, test it. Let's try to put something in. Oh, seems like it worked. Have they actually fixed this? Wow. Finally, finally. Oh my god, they have fixed this. So awesome. This is something I have really been looking forward to. This is great. This hasn't been working in forever. This is such a big thing. Oh, that's awesome. So we're gonna make some more custom building and we're gonna save them. I know one thing that do not work that I already tried when I'm making like multi-store houses and I make like uh, those stairs with uh, slabs. It still do not work. They do not start to build my houses that I'm making. So kind of feel like they still have to do something with that. But uh, what you saw there, that was a big improvement to be able to place the furniture like before actually building the whole thing. It just it's just really really great because you can make like taverns, big more complex things. And already have like all the tables and chairs and light sources and whatever one I have in there already inside it, so. But I have good hopes for this, I have really good hopes for this. Daily update? No, we didn't beat it. So, it's going pretty bad with that because we started to work with the food pretty slow. The net worth is good though. But guys, this is gonna be it for today with Stoneheart. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode. And you saw a little bit of Alpha 11, it houses so many new great things fixes and I really like these crates for the games so sadly we didn't see them put out uh, this episode the crates but in the next one we're gonna see them and we're gonna play around with this town a little bit if you have suggestions for names like I said before drop them in the comments and I'm gonna try to add you as fast as possible so if you haven't requested a name before and you haven't got in just request your name again and I'll try to get it in whoever writes first gets in first so guys, thanks for watching, hope you liked this, if you liked this video feel free to like it and subscribe if you want to see more with Stoneheart and other games. So guys, take care, have a great good day, see ya!